Welcome to the Remote Data Relay configuration video. The Remote Data Relay is a secure service running in the cloud, enabling cloud hosted versions of BPA Platform to connect to a variety of on premises resources outside of any internal networks. These resources can range from a remote BPA Platform client connecting to a BPA Platform server hosted in the cloud, enabling a BPA Platform connector to interact with data within a database or application running on an on-premises server, and also a trigger event agent executing tasks on a BPA Platform server as a result of activity on an on-premises database. The following video will demonstrate how to configure a remote data relay connection between BPA Platform Server and a remote BPA Platform client, and also the connection between the BPA Platform Server and a remote instance of the Microsoft SQL Server Trigger Agent. You will require BPA Platform 2023, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 or above, and a Relay Node URL. To obtain this, please contact your account manager. On the machine hosting the BPA Platform Server installation, let's click to begin the remote data relay setup, and click Yes to restart the service. Select the instance required for this connection and select Add a new instance relay configuration, which will automatically generate the server public keys. Then we will name it Relay1, which we will use as the connection name in the remote client. And then paste in the relay node URL. Click Test Connection and you will see the status and date timestamp. OK, let's click Save. And we will now save this key to a file. So we can copy this. And in this example, paste it to the client machine. We have already opened the remote data relay setup on this machine and can begin by selecting the listed configuration and selecting Add a new configuration before clicking Import from file. Select the key we just pasted and then click Open. To ensure this is OK, click Test Connection and observe the status. Let's click Save and we will now generate the return key for the server. Click Export to File and give it a meaningful name. And click Save. And now we can copy this key. And back on the server machine, we can paste it. On the right hand side, we can select Import from File and select and open the return key. We will name this connection Relay1 Client and click Save. And click Yes to restart server service. The Relay1 Client appears in the list of connected clients and event agents. Back on the remote client machine, we can now connect to the server by inputting our connection name and entering the appropriate username and password. And click OK. And we are now connected. In this example, we will demonstrate how to create a connection between the BPA Platform Server and an instance of the Microsoft SQL Server Trigger Agent. On the server machine, we will select the instance we created previously. And instead of exporting the file, we will use the copy to clipboard functionality. 
on the machine where the SQL Server Trigger Agent is located. In the Installation console, let's click Configure. Select the appropriate SQL Server instance and click Save. We will now select Modify to continue the process and select the appropriate SQL Server instance. Leave other settings as default and click OK. The two prerequisites should now be indicated as OK. Click Next and select the Remote Data Relay option. Then click Open Relay Setup. Select the listed configuration and select Add a new configuration. Click Paste from Clipboard to add the key we copied from the server side. This populates the fields below and we can now click Test Connection. Once the connection is successful, click Save. Next, we will use Copy to Clipboard for the return key. And back at the server side, we can click Paste from Clipboard. Then give this a meaningful connection name and click Save. Then click Yes to restart the server service. It now appears in the Connected Clients Event Agents list. Back on the Agent side in the Configurator, type the initial connection name in the Server field, click Save, and authenticate this with your admin account details. This process is now complete. We can now close the Configurator and click Yes in the dialog box. The installation entry now appears as ready. Back at the server side, if we log in with our default credentials, we can see in the Agents area, we are connected to the Microsoft SQL Server Trigger on the remote machine. And that's it for this video. If you require more details on the Remote Data Relay, please see the accompanying documentation and the tall white papers. If further assistance is required, please contact your account manager. Thanks for watching.